Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Amazons. Thank you very much. Welcome to another exciting edition of the Amazons. My name remains Bimbo Thomas. Again with me is the ever-ravishing Aisha Falode. Thank you for having me, Bimbo. <laughs> <laughs> um, generally, people believe that old age is not the period you look forward to because in certain African society, people believe that when you get to some certain age, there are some things that shouldn't be a priority to you. Things like, things like romance and love. It is therefore not a surprise that older people do find it difficult to find partners for serious relationship. But in reality, there's really no age limit for love. Are you over 40 and still searching for love? Welcome to the Amazons. And when we go for a break, we'll come back and discuss further on the topic, matured and searching. Thank you. If you're just joining in, we're still on the Amazons. What we'll be discussing today, matured and searching. Aisha, you know, looking at older people when you get a certain age, you feel that, yes, you know, after everything that might have happened, breakups, divorce, you know, all of these things, and you see that, oh, yes, I think I should, I should love again. Even what? the term older people is not, it's not complimentary. Well, you know, it's, uh, well. It's, it's not complimentary. I'd rather you say matured. Matured people. Well, matured people. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. People of a certain age. A certain age that mm -hmm. means that uh, you are over 40, uh, you are 50, you are 60. What is wrong in finding love Again. at that um, at that age? Uh, loneliness is not a friend to anybody. Companionship mm -hmm. is uh, is no gender. There's no gender disparity when it comes to the matters of emotions, matters mm -hmm. of love, matters of the heart. Uh, I can decide as a person to uh, not to not to find love at. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, in my younger years and yes. then decide to say okay now I am ready to love or perhaps I was in love before it didn't work out that should not discourage me, uh, discourage me from finding love you know elsewhere still expressing myself being uh, be, be outgoing uh, I just think that the society tend to tag us I'm over 50 I mean I, 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 I without sounding embodied I, okay. I am ready for love, mm -hmm. I am available for love, I, I look, you know, uh, I, I look young, I am young good. at heart, mm -hmm. I, am, I look good, I look after myself, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you want to say because I am over 50, I don't deserve love, I don't deserve not to be loved and be loved, all. and I shouldn't, uh, 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 I shouldn't have, you know, that relationship that is enduring, that is everlasting, even though it doesn't lead to marriage. I know my pastor is going to have a problem with this, but then it's okay. I need to, uh, uh, I need to feel wanted. Uh -huh. I need, uh -huh. you know, I need to sit down and talk to somebody. I need, you know, I need affection. I need, you understand, the list goes on. Uh -huh. For anyone to say that people of matured age should be left out of the love game. Because I think there's really... It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's not, uh, it's not being sensitive exactly. to, to those who are concerned, to mm -hmm, people like mm -hmm. me. Because there's no limit to finding love. There isn't. There is no limit, whether you choose to be madly in love or gently in love or madly, or, you know, like mildly in love, just to, you know, find a way to settle in, mm -hmm. you know, with someone you want to be with and, you know, you know share this, all this moment with anyway. We will go for a quick break <laughs> and when we come back, we'll further discuss on this set topic while our guest comes in. Thank you. For me, I have a shopping list, clear cut. I won't fall again. Mm. The mistakes I made in the past. If everything it has to be about making a case for a mistake, then we haven't learned the thing. So it's by choice. I'm going to use myself as a case study. I'm matured, I'm single, not by choice, but I'm not searching. Thank you very much. If you are just joining in, we have our guest in the studio, 
and I will be introducing them. We'll be discussing further on the topic matured and searching. First person on my list is Princess Bumi Ogotibeju. She's a lawyer and also an educationist, and Mogaji Boiga Dejumo, CEO Real Orbit Consultant. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you, sir. We're discussing the topic matured and searching. And um, I want to ask you first, that now that you're separated, is it by choice? It's actually a choice. Everything about life is a choice. If everything it has to be about making a case for a mistake, then we haven't learned a thing. So it's by choice. Princess, the tag, you know, women of a certain age finding love at a matured age. Are you open to it? What um, this stigma about society to think that when you get to a certain age, you should, you should not be loved mm -hmm. and you should not love? Well, it's a, it's a matter of um, where one is coming from as an individual. I'm going to use myself as a case study. I'm matured. I'm single, not by choice. But I'm not searching. Not that I'm not available for love, but I just feel it's not my responsibility to search. I think um, it's the man's responsibility to find me. But okay. wanting okay. to be loved? Absolutely. You say it's a man's responsibility to find you. How, do you, how does the man find you if you don't make yourself available? available. Well, availability is also a bit um, ambiguous. The extent to which you make yourself available is also a function of where you're coming from. I could make myself available in several ways where my self-respect and esteem is still maintained. Like I said, I'm not single by choice. Mm -hmm. If I had the opportunity, have remained in marriage. I don't want to go emotional here, but um, it's not by choice. Okay, no, I, no. Uh, I, I, if I get where you're coming from, um, perhaps you lost your partner. No. So what's, what's not the princess? You have to you have to live life again. If it's not if it's not what we are thinking, mm -hmm. you know, I'm living life. Yeah, I am. But I'm just trying to let us get it straight here from okay. my own point of view. Yes. You see, we're all a function of our values, ethics, where we're coming from. Mm -hmm. I believe in love. I'm, I'm, I'm a love being. I express love not only um, where it has to do with male, female. I, I, I am embodiment and embodiment of love. I, I express love everywhere, with my daughter, with friends. It's, it's supposed to be a way of life, actually. But when we now begin talking about the sexual aspect of mm -hmm. love, I guess that's what we're talking about today. The man, woman, yes. kind of love. Yes, and I'm saying, as a Christian, which has formed my own mm -hmm. opinion in life, which is my own, um, my own um, constitution as a Christian, it is not my place. As much as I crave love, it is not my place to find. I'm supposed to be a helpmate. It is the man's place to find me. And when he finds me, he will love me. And I will reciprocate the love. That's my position. Mm. And we could, we could expatiate on that. And I will be able to defend myself. Okay. But that to love is wrong mm. as a matured person, no. It is a beautiful thing. It's even much more beautiful at this matured stage. Okay. We'll come back to that. <laughs> Can I say something? Yes, please. I was trying to follow a line of thoughts and... One thing I have come to understand about life is that the teacher will only appear when the students are ready. If you have a classroom, you have a classroom. It's empty. If you have a studio, you have a studio without people. It's just another four square space. It's only when it's populated that you have a director, that you have discussants. It's only when the students are ready that the teacher will appear. In which case, you have to make yourself ready. If you're not ready, then you can't even begin to look. If you say it's by choice that you have decided you won't be all of looking, I can accept. But if you say that you just want something to come and meet you where you're at, 
Nah. I've not said I'm not looking. <laughs> okay. I've not said I'm not looking. Is it, 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 uh, no, I'm brought you to accept yes. that you are looking. So, 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 I never so said I wasn't looking. looking. No, so, you see, I think part of the problem that um, mm. matured singles oh, like okay. us have is that we are very guarded. Now, if you say it's by choice or it's not by choice that you are single, but then reality is that you are a single princess. Absolutely. This is still for you. And that you are waiting for a man to come and seek you. You see, religion and emotions and wisdom, you know, mm. they, is, uh, there's, a, there's a connection. I think, I think, I think I'm being misunderstood. Yeah. Okay, maybe you, uh, can, maybe I you can educate us, mm -hmm. you know, exactly. clearer. Mm -hmm. I think it's a function of the semantics we're using here. Searching, finding. I just said, as much as I want to be loved. We're mm. looking at matured, grown-ups, adults, whatever adjective you want to use to classify them. Loving again or finding love again. And I'm saying, maybe I shouldn't have gone that way, but I expressed my own personal position that as much as I want to be loved, love is a beautiful thing, especially when the person is your friend. Mm -hmm. It makes you 10 years younger than your age. You're up you radiate, you know, you're glowing. Mm. Okay. But I won't go find it. It is not my responsibility. Can I'll I, make can myself. I take her up again? Excuse me, sir. No, I'll like make myself. Like, Morgan, you let her I'll make myself available. For example, I'm here. Um, Morgan has just said that um, he's now available. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. here now. Yeah, if Morgan now. decides to search and find Is somebody me. taking oh. notes. Yes, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I was trying to explain, actually. Okay. Yeah. Now it's clearer. <laughs> Mother, did you see her question for Prince? <laughs> I was going to actually go a totally different route. Mm -hmm. She mentioned something about the philosophy that guides her, and she linked it up with Christianity. Mm -hmm. And I was going to tell her that my grandfather was a priest. My father was a priest. Everything I've learned about Jesus Christ, he never at any time interfered with the free will of any human that he encountered. Even before he healed anyone, Jesus will ask, what is it that you want me to do for you? In a place that he couldn't heal, he couldn't heal because of the will of the people not to accept. So we ask, what is it you want me to do? I want you to make me whole. And it says, says by your belief, by your will, you are, yeah. you are whole. Mm -hmm. In which case, you have to come to that understanding within you. Nobody's going to interfere with your free will. I mean, if we continue to pray from money till tomorrow, fast, for the 1,000 naira that is in my pocket, to change to 100,000 naira is not going to happen. Even though we may love Jesus beyond even the level at which us humans are quite capable of doing. In which case, we must make sure that we work hard to replicate the money. With that human will, has to happen. You must bring your will to the table. Really, when we are talking about finding love at um, mm. a, a, a matured age, it's not only for those who are single at, at that age. It's mm. also for those who are separated, those who are divorced, Absol those who have kids, and those who have not. And for those who have been divorced and are now searching, uh, Princess, I want to know if you really are open to love this time. It's not only for that thing, you know, that it was when we were younger, you know, love to us then, even though it might be infatuation, uh, it was all about sex. But now it's a, it's a more defined kind of relationship. It's more of companionship, it's more of friendship, it's more of, um, uh, it's more of, uh, of having someone at home to discuss your day with, it's more uh, having people to review plans mm -hmm. for the future and all of that. You know, it's more, it's more settled, it's more uh, relaxing, it's more patient, it's more uh, appreciated mm -hmm. at that time. So why would you be still guarded to open yourself to that kind of you know, I'm not guarded, uh, princess, I'm sorry, princess. We will come back to that when we come back from okay. our break. You need to really take time to answer that question. <laughs> and when we come back, we have to go on a break now. When we come back, we'll continue on the question. Matured and searching. I haven't been single for over 20 years. I've had experience. And so if I'm telling you now at this age, the guy should find me. That means I've discovered myself. 
and I know what I have to offer. I enjoy to be loved. I have sufficient love within me. Like thinking that piece of paper <laughs> was a shopping list so that I could steal from it. Or... <laughs> anyway, it is just too imperative to know exactly what you want at this age. Thank you so much. If you're just joining in, we're discussing the topic, matured and searching. And it's been pretty interesting. Mogaji has really, really taken us through that journey and, you know, we're informed. Princess is also joining in. But I should ask you a question before we went on a break. Can you please answer that question now, Ma? Well, let me quickly say here that my initial remarks were based or was based on the fact that as female gender, I needed to clarify certain things because there's this misconception out there that when you are matured, you should be looking frantically. And that was what informed that remark. I'm not, it wasn't that I was trying to sound too sanctimonious, too religious, no, not at all. Sex is beautiful, it's part of love, and I think it's enjoyable when you're even more matured. You know, so I needed to clarify that so that there will be no misconceptions as I go along. I haven't said that. I'm not, um, I'm not guarded in any way, but I take calculated risk. <laughs> My heart is guarded. Mm. Even while I love, we have a lot of stories out there, my sister. And I can tell you, I haven't been single for over 20 years. I've had experiences. And so if I'm telling you now at this age that the guy should find me, that means I've discovered myself. And I know what I have to offer. I enjoy to be loved. I have sufficient love within me, which is a function of the experience I've kind of had while single. It will shock you to know that I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. I enjoy okay. my solitude, but when I find the right person who will be my friend, who has the right attitude to women, and is sexually active. Fine. Okay. Um, uh, Mogaji. Oh, Aisha, you have something for Princess? No, no, no. Prin Princess has answered the question and, uh, you know, just made uh, her own uh, understanding and position clearer. Mm -hmm. As for uh, Mogaji, Mogaji is open to love again. I just want to know why, why we think um, we stereotype those who are older as um, now having uh, not, uh, they don't have the privilege, uh, you know, society does not you know see them to have that privilege to love and to be loved again they think that they should be happy thinking about their children their mm -hmm. grandchildren mm -hmm. you know look, enjoying life you know, uh, why would an older woman who is over 50 what more does she think want in life I, I you think, know, that is love i think i think us older guys have by ourselves built the perimeters around ourselves to keep us away from loving deeply yeah. And most of it will be uh, because of um, societal issues. What is psychologically, I mean, workable for older people to find love, you know, within their age range or for younger people, to go for younger people? Like, Mukaji you rightly said, you find love in very unusual places. Okay. I've had to go in personal now. Be in a relationship with someone who is older. When we talk about mature, it doesn't come, it's not about the age. Do you understand? I've had to be around someone who is almost 30 years my senior, who unfortunately behaves like a toddler. And I've had to, to put a younger guy who is my age mate on the spot, and he has behaved much more mature than. The older. the older man. So it's actually a function of what works for the individual. What are you looking for? I know what I'm looking for. Some other persons might be involved with that same person I said acted like a toddler and be good. Do you understand what I'm saying? For, for me, I have a shopping list, clear cut. I won't, I won't fall again. Mm -hmm. The mistakes I made in the past. So as much as I'm, I'm available to be loved, I'm loving with my head. 
I know what I want. And don't you think that has placed you in you know one tight corner that you feel that it's flexible? Okay. If on my shopping list I have about sixteen items, I know those that are priority. I know uh -huh. those that I can wave and manage. Okay. <laughs> so, um, Princess, I'm not going to, you know, because uh, mm -hmm. if I wanted to ask you, that shopping list that you have, uh, uh, 16 items mm. for a woman of a certain age, uh, finding love with an older man of 30 years over, and then uh, a younger man of your own age, one behave, the older one is behaving more like a child, and the, don't you think even that is inhibitive? to have so many expectations at this age that you want met, you want every box to be ticked to find love. Is it possible? Aisha, I am Bumi. I know what I want. As a younger girl, I compromised my shopping list. You're happy to and I've it? been paying for it hugely. Do you understand? Yeah. That's you know what it means to go into a marriage? Less than two years are out of it for no reason. And you have a child on your hand, you have to single and early, even though I was still a baby myself, single and early nurture. <sighs> Crying out loud. I want love. But I maintain that I have a shopping list. It might not be as long as 16. And I can bend the rules where maybe the things are not that serious. But they are priorities. There are, there are ones I cannot non-negotiate. For example, any man I want to be in love with or want to share my time with must be my friend. It is not something we have to negotiate. You have to be my friend. Do you understand? That, that is priority. Mm -hmm. For some other persons, it might not be priority. It might just be the emotions alone. But I've come to realize that emotions wear off. It is the men that initiate relationships. But the bulk of sustenance depends on the woman. And that's where my stand about finding me comes in. Let him do all the laboring to find me. When he finds me and he's sure he loves me, I will love. And we will, do you understand? But that I will not go into any relationship without, go into any relationship without my shopping list. I shall please. Ah. <laughs> so, so uh, <laughs> Mogaji is... Uh, yeah. Shopping list, uh, what, you, what your needs are of uh, mm. a relationship at an older age. If you were, you know, to just give like a guiding talk. You want me to reveal my own shopping list? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> please okay. go ahead. Okay. Do you Let's, have a shopping list? Oh, yes, everybody must mm. have. Uh, actually, exactly. when she said that, I was like thinking that piece of paper <laughs> was a shopping list so that. I could steal from it. Or... <laughs> anyway, it is just too imperative to know exactly what you want at this age. And I'll start with myself. Um, at 56, if I'm looking for a younger woman, a much younger woman, I will be um, a little too selfish. If that woman wants a child, and I'm saying no, in which case, if I love her so much, I shouldn't deny her even of a child, if that is the only thing she's looking for. Thank you so much. You're thank you so much, you. Um, Mogaji. Thank, thank you. you so much, Princess. Thank we you. must say that um, it's been pretty informative. You know, these are things that I don't know, you know, and I'm looking forward to when I get to your, you know, probably when I get matured even more you know and hey thank you again you're welcome <laughs> and um this is where we'll be drawing the curtain and i know that um aisha you have had this mm, i mean all these uh, messages and um, no that is to tell you that finding love at um at mm. a matured age mm -hmm. is open to those who mm. are looking for it for those who uh, seek it uh, mm -hmm. for those who find it mm -hmm. uh what i've just learned here today is that um uh, from Mogaji, uh, you really must begin to look for uh, love in uh, your own comfort zone, you mm -hmm. know, to be able to enjoy 
that love mm -hmm. at this age we are talking about. Absolutely. And for princess, her own priority is friendship. You see, there are different um, mm -hmm. reasons why a lot of people who are matured will still want to go into relationship even when uh, their first one has failed. But the point is, matured people do deserve to love Absolutely. and be loved again. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is the key word. Okay. Absolutely. Regardless of what the society thinks about love, it is good to fall in love, be loved, and seek for love. On this note, we'll be ending the Amazons for today. So we'll see you next time. Bye for now.